What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Starting things off from the prayer room. Let's head on out. So we have quite a few things uh, that we're going to be tackling this episode that are really strong. And this is really going to be like our test of whether or not you are ready for the Halic Tree. Oh, no. That is just as funny as I imagined it would be. Just wild strikes. It's like a really basic, basic Ash of War we get early on. Uh, but go ahead and pop this open. This is going to get us a uh, incantation. So I guess if you're not doing faith, you don't need it. But triple rings of light. That is what we want to fight next. That big boy, it's already kind of looking at us. So, I'm gonna run along this. Kill this knight. Kill this knight. Probably gonna use the hammer for a lot of this zone just because it'll zug zug. Right over here. See the path we're going to jump across. And jump over. Now, first we're going to head north. There's a crystalline guarding some goodies up here that we're going to take out. And then we're going to work our way over and fight the big boy. Obviously, with a blunt weapon, you should absolutely smash through this thing. Somber 9. Now the question is whether or not we can take this guy on. I was, it might be better off. Well, I don't know. I don't know if they have a specific weakness. This is one of the rot ones. Uh, the big thing here, of course, is we do not have... Um, you know, there's no summon. So this is just you versus the big boy. Let's try and frost spite him real fast here. Honestly, it might be better off with bleed. I'm not sure I'm debating what I want to fight this guy with. Take off my thing. If I can get frostbite on him, that'll at least loosen him up for the attacks. There we go. spell parry these, if I actually spell parry them in time. down though. We get the Rotten Staff as a reward. Nice big old bonk stick. And a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. So from here we're going to jump down here. Load up. And then we're going to drop here. We're going to open this. There's a revenant that spawns there so don't, don't move just yet. Just you know, open that, go inside. Uh, over here, we have the America Source Seal, another one of the legendary talismans that we need. Um, and so this next area, there's a lot to get through. There's a lot of revenants that we're going to be fighting, so go with, you know, whatever you're most comfortable fighting with. 
um, against the revenants. I'm gonna probably do this. You can also bring a summon along, so mimic Tish, you know, whatever you think is gonna work out best for you. And we're gonna tackle this whole underground area now and get rid of all of these big uglies. they all drop the level nines the gold rune okay so uh, there should be two revenants initially So go ahead. This little room should have loot and another revenant that's going to spawn pretty much as soon as we dip inside of it. I'm actually really liking wild strikes with that. Go ahead a little bit more. Um, is that this? Nope, not here yet. There's another little side path that we're going to have to come back to because we'll lose our mimic if we go inside. So right in there. Ignore that for now. We're going to get back to that in a second. Here we got a Lord's Rune. And you can see we have another friend up ahead. should be one more. Now, right here at this ladder, that room up top has some knights and clean rot knights and stuff. Um, if they hear all the noise, they might come down and get involved, so it's just something to be aware of. You know, you don't want them uh, coming and attacking you from behind, but as we go in here, we got one more that's going to summon up. Big uglies are cleared. Grab the smithing stone eight. Technically, if you really want to risk it, you could run right up this ladder and grab the grace that's in that room over there, but there's a bunch of bullshit and we're going to be going to that from behind a little bit later, so I wouldn't do it right now. Um, we're going to be losing our mimic here, but I want to clear out the crystallins. And what is in here? Somber, somber nine and a turtle, pickled turtleneck. If you really want to be cheeky, you can stay here, and your Mimic will actually fight. Um, but if you go into the room, you can see we're now in the zone where they will start to despawn. So, it's a little bit tricky here to actually use the Mimic and have him help in this encounter. soften them up since I don't have any healing. Oh no. Mimic, don't fade away. I need you. Be my shield. I already got a shield, but I mean, like, I need you to kind of be the shield that fights for me. Same as a king has a... There we go. Oh, boy. Somber smithing stone plus nine. And the great thing is, we are now done the hardest part of this area. The rest is just going to be baby town frolics. So, 
Hop back on over to the prayer room. Did I grab the turtleneck? I don't know if I did. I think I did. There's a turtleneck by the one in the back, and then the somber nine. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but they're, yeah, they're both in there. Uh, so anyway, let's see. How are we looking on runes? Yeah. Yeah, we are looking good on runes. Uh, do, 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 do. I need to get you. I think it's like 32. Let me now use you. We can medium load with you. Ooh. Oh, no, it's, of course we can, because we have our thing active. Silly me. Uh, let's see. No, no. We're going to need a uh, the step dagger in just a little bit. We'll be good with that for now. And actually, you know what? I'm going to keep gonna keep you around. Let me look at it different. I want to find... I mean, Wild Strikes is cool. I just I like the flashy stuff. I like Golden Val. Let me just put Golden Val back on there. Uh, where is it at? There it is. Golden Land and BP Quality. Uh, but So now we're just going to proceed down murdering everything. Those guys are going to aggro us. That's fine. I swear that used to be so much better. They definitely ended up nerfing my golden land some. This golden land, just those, those stagger explosions used to kill people, and now they're not. And that makes me a sad boy. Guy's got the poise. Kick his ass down. Grab the smithing eight. Go up here. Gotta wrap this up before it gets too dark. Shoot him a Kellen Knight Sword. Pretty nice. I think it has like Sacred Oath or something built into it. Let's kill them. Kill knights, two more on the left. Proceed along engaging a murder. Room before the stairs for a smithing ain't. Follow the roots for the sword. Instead of heading down the stairs, hop on the buttress for the gazebo. The knight clean rot Finley summon. Cross for another plus ten. Okay. This is the last one we're gonna kill. That's right, you forgot you had the friend sitting in the corner. So we're like half the guys here just like slacking, sitting in corners. Um, but instead of going down those stairs, we want to jump onto this. And now jump across. Kill this thing if you need to. Here is the final of the legendary Ashen Summons, Clean Rot Knight Finley. Uh, not a bad Ashen Summon, it actually buffs you with uh, Sacred Vow, so that's really cool. However, I would not suggest it for the boss of this zone because that thing deals holy damage and the boss is resistant to holy, so it's not going to work out in your favor. Uh, but head on up here, let's get our lantern on. And just tucked away in here, we have another plus 10. Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Continue along. And we'll pick up the fifth Seedbed Curse. 
Which actually, hang on. I missed a sea bed curse when we were down here earlier. So remember, in my prep notes, I only found that. Um... There should be a sixth one. Heading towards go down every staircase. Into the dark room under the railing and find it on a body that is sitting in a chair. I'd missed that during our prep. Well, we're gonna see if we can find it. There's one listed on the, the wiki that we can investigate. But I mean it doesn't matter. At this point we we've got them all, but I'd like to get it so that if you missed one of the other seed beds, you still got that covered. So I guess if you're going for the seed beds, you probably already know where to get those things. So pick up the old fang. This is just the route that we came down. Um, we can actually go over here and drop to kill a couple more guys. So instead of going down that way, is that is going to get us met by a bunch of ballistas, and we don't want to deal with that. So that we're going to head on back now. Not trying to aggro the clean rot knight yet. Uh, oh well. Those guys suicide bomb. Obviously, don't let that happen. He killed the clean rats doing that. Ooh, got the helm. Very nice. Okay, um, let me go back over to my notes here. Um, do, uh, do, 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 We got the Finley summon. We murdered a bunch. Smithing ten and golden ten near the clean rot knights. I think seven. Side is the. Golden Rune 10. Oh, I think this is where the other Seed Rot curse is, the one that I missed. And then out here, there's some meat. And then this basically just brings us back to where we were. Wow. Two packs of Wallop. So, just to kind of show everything, as you can see right here, these are the stairs that we would have gone down. Um, go down every staircase you come across. Room with two clean rot knights inside. Instead of entering, jump over the railing to the right and drop down a level. Oh, so it is right over here. Um, let me see where we were going to go next in my notes. Um, do 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 do. Okay, next we are going to go over to the old fang over there. Let's try and get this other seedbed. Um,. Dark room under the railing. Ah, right in here. It's interesting. It's very tucked away. Ah, it puts us above the crystallines. Okay, it's interesting. Well, the real question is, can we get back and continue my route as planned? Which, I mean, we don't even need that. <clears throat> That's just in the event that you missed one, you are now all set. And it looks like we're not going to be able to get... Well, mm, no, we're just going to warp. We're going to warp, make it daytime. Because the alternative would be... I'd have to run past those... Um, the revenants again, and I don't want to deal with that. So we're going to make it morning. We can pretty much just sprint back to a spot. Probably good to, to show y'all a sprint route anyway. Which technically I could cross over to there and do a jump. And then go up that way and then take me back to where the two knights were above. We can get back to right where we were at pretty fast and ignore almost everything.
It's gonna go up these stairs. That's where we jumped to get the summon. I'm just gonna do that again. Back over. We're gonna get over to where we want it to go anyway. Yeah. So, we're gonna proceed along. Right over here was where we got that old beast, and we want to take that buttress, so. This was our other seedbed curse, the old beast fang. Go over here, drop it down. Just gonna cross this. Uh, don't worry about the plants, they're not gonna be a concern. Instead, we just wanna head over this way, and drop down. Oh boy. Kill you. Now we'll kill everything that's grouped up. And I even came off the ballistas, how nice. Let's grab a smithing eight. Here we want to grab the Halig Tree Soldier Ashes. That now gives you soldiers from every region. Uh, and then down in this room, there's like a knight and two clean rot knights. So, head on in. Spirit Flame Arrows. Looks like the knights may have uh, already come for us. Oh, no, there's one. Pretty sure I just circumcised him with that. Degrees, got the warming stone. I believe that's it. Spirit flame arrows and the warming stone. Let's see. Uh, spirit flame, warming stone, clean, clean rot knights. Proceed along for the ballista boys. Smithing eight. Halley tree soldier ashes up at the buttress and a big leap for the Halley tree knight helm. Smithing stone and the grace. Okay. So we're going to be going up this one. And we need to jump over to there. So it's a very long jump. You can make it. Just want to make sure you get a running start. And leap! Oh, there we go. Get you the goofy looking helmet. Get you the smithing stone. And here we are at the grace. That ladder will just take you back up there to get the helm. Uh, but now, we are going to try and tackle this thing. Mm, what do I want to use here? You know what? I should probably use Blood Flame. This thing does not respawn, so we're going to kill this first. And you can use your summons for this one, as you can see. But the problem is, if we back up into this hallway, we can't use the summons. Oh god, they came at me hard. So, <laughs> you can you can visibly see why you're allowed to have summons for that encounter. You have both the Guardian and then two Halley Tree Knights attacking at the same time. It's a lot. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, just be, just be ready for that. Um, we are gonna... What do I even want to use here? What do I want to use here? Um, maybe that. This... Inside this room sucks. The other option, um, I mean, this is going to be a hard fight no matter what, but the other option would be actually fighting them in the plaza, and you have the summon to help you, but it's, I mean, God, you're seeing the type of damage that this thing is capable of. No matter how you, you slice it, um, this fight's just going to suck. But that's exactly why I wanted to come over here and get us this grace first. Let's be a little cheeky here.
Oh, I think I can just... I can. Man, now that's, that's some abuse. Free Lord's Rune for it, you know? Like, why wouldn't I kill it? Uh, so after him, it's much easier. We can go on out. Um, keep in mind there's the Ballista one, so we're gonna summon up Tish. Gotta be over here. We don't want to let those other Ballistas shoot us. Uh, their heals are a full heal, by the way, so do not let these dudes get off a heal. Sacramental Bud. You might get hit. Oh my god, you can see how hard the ballistas are. And that's exactly why we didn't want to come that way, because you need to deal with those guys that are up top with the ballistas and these two that are right here. And it is like, and it's basically just instant death if, the, if any of that stuff connects with you. So, But we are back at the grace. We have them down and we have enough for like two more levels. So, I mean, I, like it's ridiculous how many levels we're getting going through these areas. Um, I think I need... One more endurance? I have to like lose my endurance. I have to die purposefully. I'm not a fan of that. I mean, more endurance never hurts. If I want, because like I don't need bigger. Well, actually, no, I do need. You need bigger. Let's just get this up one more. All right. Anyway, uh, we're gonna wrap things up here. We have the Ephiel, Elfiel inner wall. Um, which there's probably gonna be one more episode to wrap up this zone. Maybe two. When we consider millennia. Um, but yeah, either way, we have more coming your way in a bit, so stay tuned. I'll catch you all then.